Sahib, welcome to Aussie Indian. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure being here and uh, I'm really loving it, loving it all. You have come almost 13,000 kilometers away from India uh, to come and take part in this play. What motivated you? Thakur Ramakrishna. <laughs> um, Swamiji himself, maybe, because uh, I am associated with uh, the spirit of Ramakrishna, the spirit of Swami Vivekananda from, from my childhood days, because I used to go to the Ramakrishna mission uh, and take part in the medi meditation sessions quite often when I was young with my father. So that was uh, almost uh, this thing was from my childhood. Like I'm very spiritual uh, a person, and um, I love uh, uh, to do uh, these kind of roles for sure. Because I've done quite a few other spiritual projects also back in India, just like I've done one Hindi film uh, in Mumbai and uh, I played the lead role, I played the role of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, happens to be another social uh, uh, a reformer, a, a god uh, in Indian um, uh, you know, mythology. So I played that uh, I guess four or five years back and I had to actually shave my head, you know, for, for two months I uh, I was uh, working in a place called Umargaon, which is absolutely, you know, a place which is so uh, different from the normal city. And, uh, you know, I went through that process of meditation, you know, the exercises which normally we do once we get into these kind of characters, because these kind of characters are very difficult characters for us to enact, because uh, it's not the kind of uh, the normal characters we play. And uh, it takes a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, self-motivation. It takes a lot of uh, focus, a lot of meditation and uh, worship as well, because uh, that really helps us to um, portray uh, uh, these, these characters well. So a lot of homework uh, I have been doing on this uh, concept from a long, long time. And when I got this offer from uh, Australia to enact the role of Swami Vivekananda himself on, on Sydney Opera House, that was uh, a great moment for me because uh, not many Indians uh, get the opportunity to enact uh, the role of uh, Swamiji and in a place uh, in a place like this, in uh, you know, in a in a venue like Sydney Opera House, and Sydney Opera House is definitely um, it's a dream of any actor to work uh, in a place like that. So that really gave me a lot of courage, a lot of uh, encouragement, a lot of enthusiasm, and definitely, um, I would say, uh, the spirit of Ramakrishna, the spirit of Swami Vivekananda, the spirit of Ma Sharada. I am quite associated with these kind of things from my early childhood days. Just like I am associated with Tagore music because Tagore music is uh, a very integral part of my whole education system. And uh, I have been learning Tagore music since I was, I was, I guess, eight, nine years old. and. Uh, I always, I don't know how it happened, I was always inclined towards devotional songs rather than, you know, uh, the lighter numbers. So, uh, this inclination helped me, you know, this, this kind of inclination towards the spirituality. This is a lifetime character, this is a lifetime role. Swami Vivekananda is a lifetime role for me. This is going to be history for me. This is never, this opportunity, I don't think will ever come again in my life till the time I breathe my last. This is a kind of an experience which I'm having like a lifetime and that too 
uh, in a place like Australia, on a stage like Sydney Opera House. What I really, really like, I really love about the whole thing is Swamiji taught oneness of all beings. He, uh, he always wanted us to kind of, uh, you know, connect to each other and follow one language and the language of God. He always used to say one thing that find God, nothing else matters in life. So what is really uh, kind of uh, a new finding for me here is that, you know, what Swam Swamiji has said years back, I kind of find it here now because all my friends who are actually working with me, they belong to different cultures, different traditions, they have different roots altogether. I am totally an unknown person here. I have my different set of habits, I've got my different set of living life. My thought process is totally different. But then we are connecting so much, so well. You see this bond, this is, this is the unity we are having here. You see, it doesn't really, what I'm trying to say is like, it doesn't really matter if, you, if, you, if you're an Australian or an Indian or uh, 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 a British or American or, you know, Chinese or um, Palestinian. Palestinian. It, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is we connect. That's one language, language of God. It's language of understanding. It's a language of um, love. So let us come together for a social course. This is, this is a social awareness we're working on. Let us come and get united. Let us believe in this oneness of all beings. Let us believe in the oneness of religion. Let us hold hands and let us make the world a great place. So wonderfully said, uh, Sahib. Thanks very much for talking to us. Indian. Welcome back. And uh, you are watching your favorite Indian show, The Indian. And uh, you heard uh, Sahib Chatterjee, the actor who has come all the way from India to play the role of Swami Vivekananda. And now let's hear Dana, the lead female actress who is playing the role of uh, Sister Nivedita. Here is Dana. Dana, welcome to Oz Indian. Thank you, Raj. Thank you for having me. Dana, uh, if you can get a bit of your background, you know, where you come from, uh, that would help. Well, I'm a Palestinian actor and writer, and I studied in Chicago. That's where I studied theater. It's always been a passion of mine since I was very little. And for the past two years, I've been living and working in Dubai. Mm -hmm. From Palestine, you went to U.S., and uh, now you have traveled almost 15,000 kilometers to come here to take part in this wonderful drama, Oneness. What motivates you? Actually, I've never lived in Palestine. My family, my grandparents left in 67. But uh, from Jordan then, around the world in the United States, in Dubai, all the way to Australia, uh, I was really compelled to move here because it's hard to, one, be a Palestinian and not be an activist. So I am very much an activist for human rights, for tolerance and acceptance across all borders. Um, I'd like to start doing a lot more um, cross-cultural uh, activism. Uh, because I think as much tolerance as we can give one another, as much friendship, as much love and acceptance, the better the world will be. Mm -hmm. So when I first heard about Swami Vivekananda and this play, I thought this is exactly in line with my personal artistic mission, which is to tell stories that highlight the resilience of the human spirit, um, that have a positive influence on society which is so different to the media, we're inundated with these negative either advertisements, they're trying to sell you something or push fear or that things are highly sexual. So I thought this is really a beautiful play about a man who offered the world love and acceptance in a time of industry and individualization. Oh, so wonderfully said. Uh, did you study actually in the United States uh, in film and uh, other TV production and things like that or uh, what's, uh, what's your educational background? Yeah, I got a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theatre with an emphasis in acting from Columbia College Chicago which is a huge arts college in the United States. Uh, so I studied theatre and while I was there I also studied acting for television and film. 
and uh, and I've worked in probably 30 plus short films. I've done a TV series in the Middle East also, a lot of advertisements, I MC many events, but theater is my love, theater is my passion. Of course, uh, Vivekananda, Swami Vivekananda's message of uh, uh, all religions are one, they lead to the same goal. Is that what uh, motivated you to look at Swami Vivekananda in the manner you just described? Yes, absolutely. You know, when I was reading uh, some of his messages, it reminded me a lot of um, the Sufi mystic Rumi, who is a, a favorite of mine, uh, who really is caught up in the beauty of the world and the awe of the world and the acknowledgement of the divine or the godly aspects in every human being. So that really resonated with me and I thought, how better to know really what Swami Vivekananda's message is than to immerse myself in this process of rehearsing the play, of researching the characters and re researching the role of Sister Nevedita who herself went on a very long spiritual journey mm -hmm. from questioning Christianity to really delving into Buddhism and then to following Vedanta. Um, she went on a long spiritual journey and I find myself also investigating all religions and coming to know them as different doors to the portal of oneness of divinity with God. How do you bring out those emotions uh, which are very Indian uh, in fact uh, although they are universal but Swami Vivekananda was an Indian saint and uh, he was a follower of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Uh, how do you bring out those emotions uh, being an outsider to India? Well, I've traveled to India before. I've been to Mumbai and Delhi and Goa many years ago with my family. But personally, you know, I've always felt a very strong connection to India. Um, when I was doing my own personal discovery of religions, I was very fascinated with the Vedas. And um, I've been practicing yoga for many, many, many years. And I just love the culture, I love the people, I love the music, I love the food, uh, I'm, I, I feel a very strong connection to India. So um, for some of my other characters it was very easy, but actually Sister Nevedita is Irish and uh, she was one of uh, Swami Vivekananda's foremost Western disciples. So for this uh, play I have to don an Irish accent, an Irish accent. Um, and. Getting into the emotions is very interesting. Um, our director, Felicity Nichol, uh, has us going through a process where we first play a very exaggerated version of the scene. And that allows you to really see the highs and lows and the range that you can draw from. And then we play the, the kind of middle ground of that, but still knowing where we can have moments of very emotional intensity and, and sorrow or joy and ecstasy. So that's been a really fun process in the rehearsal. Absolutely. And if there is one message you want to send out to our viewers to come and watch this play, what would that be, Donna? Um, I would say come. It's an evening at one of the biggest cultural icons in the world, the Sydney Opera House, celebrating one of the biggest spiritual icons in the world, Swami Vivekananda. There is an all-star cast. There is incredible music. It's going to be colorful. It's going to be a very elevating beautiful artistic experience and I hope that we can share that with you. Donna, very well said. Thanks for talking Thank to us. Thank you very Indian. much. Thank you very much, Raj. There you go. You heard both the lead actor and actress and now it is uh, time to take a look at uh, what the volunteers who are working behind the scene say about this uh, center and the play coming up. And of course, uh, there is a lot of hard work which goes behind the scene and I'm talking to two of those volunteers. Uh, I've been involved uh, with the uh, Ramakrishna Mission for a long while, but uh, with the Singhni Center, uh, it has been since the last uh, couple of years uh, I've uh, associated myself with the center. Uh, I, I guess uh, I have already benefited uh, from this association for a long time now, uh, and I guess uh, uh, now uh, with the 150th birth anniversary of uh, Vivekananda, uh, it is uh, uh, time for us to give something back. Uh, to honor the memory of someone who has uh, given so much to uh, humanity uh, and benefited uh, not only us but uh, generations of people uh, and generations yet to come. I've been uh, going to Swamiji's class, Swami Siddharananda's class for the last 10 years 
Uh, at one stage, I used to be an ardent tennis player. And uh, I attended one class, one of my friends uh, asked me to attend. And it was really a mesmerizing speech of Swami Vivek, uh, Swami Sridharananda. And, and then I even gave up my tennis. And I decided that uh, I learned a lot, especially he was teaching Bhagavad Gita uh, classes. And uh, I said that uh, there's something that I can build my character. How can I be a better person in life? A couple of things comes to my mind as a volunteer. I find that, uh, as Swami Vivekananda used to say, serve, love and give. And, and this is what I believe all, you know, after a certain stage in life that I have retired from a corporate life. And then I said that I should give back to the society. This is a great opportunity for me to give back to the society and volunteering and then uh, uh, working on the Swami Vivekananda's um, uh, 150th birthday celebration and also yoga conference, which is coming in November. So the best way to provide back to the community. And of course, the play Oneness is going to be played out at uh, the Upper House on the 17th and 18th. All the details are on your screen. This is a play not to be missed. And this is a once in a life opportunity to see somebody like uh, Sahib Chatterjee and Dana on the stage and also listen to the fantastic universal message of Swami Vivekananda.